Hi guys, it's me Chazzer HD and welcome to this incident analysis video for the 2019 Singapore Grand Prix. Where in this video we're going to look at the incidents such as Ricardo versus Antonio Giovinazzi, uh, Kvyat and Raikkonen of course, and Russell versus Grosjean. But first, let's get into the contact between Daniel Ricardo and Antonio Giovinazzi, which of course with Daniel Ricardo definitely did cost him really a top 10 finish in the Grand Prix. Now, I'm going to show why this incident is very similar to another incident we've had earlier in 2019 and how it wasn't a penalty for either driver because I don't think either driver really could have done anything different in this situation. So, of course, Max Verstappen has just overtook, I believe, or not uh, Max Verstappen, Alexander Albon has just passed Antonio Giovinazzi. And Ricardo, of course, wants to catch Antonio unawares and get past while he can to gain, you know, pace and positions later on in the race so he's not in dirty air and stuck behind another driver. And goes right down the inside. Now, as you can see here, Daniel has basically his entire car alongside Antonio and they are basically side by side. But then, Ricardo and Giovinazzi on the exit of Turn 7, of course, came to blows. Now, as I'm sure you'll see, once FOM on their uh, channel published the onboard cameras, as you'll see later on, Antonio Giovinazzi was actually turning left to try and make the exit of the corner. So I don't really think Antonio could have done anything differently because Daniel Ricardo. Also, as you can see here on the steering wheel at the bottom, was also turning left, fully left, to try and get through the exit of the corner. As you can see here on the exit, he's turning fully left to try and get through the exit and follow the Mercedes, I believe, ahead. Or not, not the Mercedes, the Red Bull, I think it is, ahead of Alexander Albon to, you know, follow him and try and stick with him. But because they're both turning left... And there's not quite enough space on that part of the circuit for both drivers. As you can see here, he has to correct his wheel because they both at that point make contact, which is why Daniel Ricciardo slightly turns right and then turns left again, you know, to continue on the exit of the corner. So for me, Ricardo and Giovinazzi, I don't really see what they could have done differently. I, I don't see why any of them get a penalty and... The reason I say it's similar to an incident earlier in 2019 is it is similar to Verstappen and Leclerc in Austria because if you go back and look at that, both Max and Charles into that corner, which I believe was turn three, were turning right and they both made contact. Now, both drivers couldn't really do anything to avoid what happened. And of course, Max Verstappen or Charles Leclerc did not get a penalty, so deservedly, no one gets a penalty here, so that is good to see. And yeah, no real, you know, no one really in this incident should be penalised. It's just hard, maybe not fair racing, but definitely hard racing with contact being made. But now let's get on to why Roman Grosjean is an idiot. Because Roman Grosjean, whilst running in not that great of a, a, great of a position, racing the Williams of George Russell did something that pretty much sums up why most of us in the F1 community no longer rate Roman Grosjean or rate, you know, never rated him at all and why we don't think he should stay in the Haas car for 2020. So as you can see here, going into turn eight, they're side by side. That's all, you know, well and fair. But through the, cor uh, through the corner... Russell is starting to pull ahead because at turn eight, you can't really go around the outside. It's suicidal because you're either going to make contact with the driver ahead or alongside or hit the wall because it's a very difficult corner to go side by side in and hold it around the outside. It's a much smarter move to try and do a switch back, which plenty of drivers during the race yesterday did. You know, on the run down then to turn nine. But Roman, of course, did not do that. Now, at this point, Russell has most of his car ahead. So he does have the right away and he has the right, in my opinion, to dictate the line going forward into turn nine. 
And Roman Grosjean is not going to overtake Russell. He's not going to do it because, again, you really cannot overtake around the outside of another car at turn eight. Realistically, it's not going to happen. So why Roman Grosjean continues to try and get past, I just don't understand. And then he, of course, puts Russell in the wall and that's Russell out of the race. And again, this is why Roman Grosjean should not be in Formula 1 anymore because he makes just stupid mistakes like this. Mistakes that make you think, what are you even thinking, Roman? What was he possibly thinking there? I don't understand why he thought he could just sail around the outside and get through absolutely fine. He lacks a real understanding, Roman, of what is realistic and what is possible when it comes to overtaking. And as usual, Roman does before he thinks. He does not think as a racing driver through a race, like a driver, say, like a, I don't know, a Nico Hulkenberg, you know, a driver that should be in the Haas. But no, they've... The, They've decided to keep Roman Grosjean, a driver that half the time can be okay or good, but the other half the time he's going to do this. He's going to put people on the wall and be miles off the pace like he was in Singapore. So, again, I don't get why they kept him. Really don't understand why. They, they should have got rid of him, and this is further evidence as to why. And the final incident we're going to look at is, of course, Kvyat versus Raikkonen. Now, Daniel Kvyat, um, in his opinion, thinks that Kimi Raikkonen turned into him. Now, we have seen moves down the inside at Turn 1. jean Eric uh, Verne in the Toro Rosso in 2014 did it to Kimi Raikkonen, who at the time, of course, was in a Ferrari. But the thing is, jean Eric Verne, in that move was a lot closer in the entry to the braking zone to make that move than Daniel was. Daniel literally, as you can see now, as Raikkonen is starting to brake, Daniel is coming from miles back and just launching his car up the inside into what is, by the way, quite a fast corner. If this was a hairpin, I would have had no problem with it because, you know, at a hairpin or a slower corner, the other driver has time to, you know, see what's behind him, see what's around him before turning into the corner. But into a fast corner like this, you cannot expect Kimi Raikkonen to not take the apex of the corner when you're coming from quite far back. And then, of course, Kvyat went down the inside, hit Raikkonen and took Kimi out of the race. Now, the stewards said it was a racing incident. I can understand why they say that, but I kind of disagree. I think Kvyat should have got some sort of punishment because he was just, he was way too aggressive. I, way, way too aggressive. I know he was on the soft compound tyres. I know he wanted to try and get into the points, but you can't be doing moves like this. This is way too risky. And Daniel, you have to say in Singapore, did not exactly have, let's say, the greatest weekend. Pace-wise, not that great. And this just topped it off as really a bad weekend for the Russian. But of course, next weekend, or this weekend rather, it is his home race. So hopefully he does go better. And hopefully Kimi Raikkonen does as well. But guys, that has been it for this incident analysis from the 2019 Singapore Grand Prix. Let me know in the comments section what you thought of this video. And for these incidents, what is your opinion? Let me know in the comments section down below. As well, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this as we do this every Monday after a race weekend to look at the incidents during the Grand Prix. So don't forget to subscribe for that. Bottom right of the screen, you can do it right there. Or go to my homepage, subscribe and hit the notifications bell. And also don't forget to hit the like button as well. Just to let you guys know, I will be back tomorrow at 12pm UK time for the podcast looking at Ferrari's new updates and other uh, pieces of news in the Formula 1 world and I'll be back on Wednesday for the driver ratings video for Singapore also at 12pm UK time and on Thursday I'll be back for that day as well to fully preview the 2019 Russian Grand Prix but until then guys it has been me Chazer HD goodbye <laughs>